Hey everyone, I'm here with another request for the e-machines. Yes, this video was supposed to be a video for XP running on the e-machines. But, it was a request, but I couldn't even install Windows XP on this thing, even with Service Pack 3. So I'm going to go ahead and show you a little something that I've installed. You're going to be thinking it's Windows XP installed on this poor old computer. Since I couldn't be able to do XP, I found a little something different. You're going to be, you're going to guess what the title is at the top. And it's booting up right now. It's pretty lightweight. It's not XP light. As you see, it's, it's kind of a little slow. Whenever I installed XP on this, it was extremely slow. It's finally booted up and get a chair and sit down. Yep, this is Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs. Some of you may not heard of this OS. Um, okay, I want me to tell you about it. Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs is an operating system based on Windows XP Embedded and Windows XP Professional. It starts off with Service Pack 2 as the default service pack. And Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs wants you to use a certain type of password. And it requires you to have a password. So I'm going to go ahead and boot in. This sounds are from Windows XP. I did a custom installation of this OS which doesn't include Internet Explorer 6 or Windows Media Player 10. Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs will allow you to do a custom installation that, that so whenever you in, want to install Windows FLP you can have the choice that if you want Internet Explorer or not. But sometimes you can integrate the browser into the disk, or if you have a little flash drive or something to put it on, you can. And you have, uh, if you got like a driver for Ethernet, this is like a thin client-based OS. As you see, there's not many programs. There's no Paint, no Solitaire, or none of that. There's no Windows Media Player. But I found a little something. Good old Media Player 6.04. This is pretty cool, finding the, the old Media Player, which I don't have Windows Media Player 10. I wonder if you can still get Internet Explorer. I explore.exe. And you can even install Microsoft Office. And as you see, this OS can be pretty boring whenever you do a default installation. And it still has all the same hardware. Hold up a minute, let me get to it. I'm going to show you I'm running the real deal. Sheila, Windows Fundamentals for Legacy PCs, Service Pack 2. It could be upgraded to Service Pack 3, but I didn't feel like doing it. And it's running at 367 megahertz and 64 megabytes of RAM. I don't have automatic updates turned on, because I don't have no network 
connection to it. And I just put the hard drive to name YouTube. Hold on, now let me get this. And now I'm using the 4.3 gig hard drive. And it used up like 829 megs. And I got a free space of 3.21. Oh look, Internet Explorer. Oh, you can't open it. Oh, can't even access it. This is pretty weird. That's. Let's see if you can get it on the desktop. Look, there's a couple of stuff that. Well, you could yeah, there's not much to show. So, you can't even enable the welcome screen on this. Well, I'm going to go ahead and shut her down. Not much to show. Because I'm about to be putting Windows ME back as the main operating system. I've been using that computer more because it has 2,000. And that one works fine with everything on that end. And it's about to be shutting down. Yeah, two YouTube users wanted to see XP running on this, which were Trevor Warren four five two and the Quentin Man nineteen hundred. I was sorry I couldn't be able to get XP. This is what I was able to install something close. That's kind of like XP, but it's built from it. It's very lightweight. Well, I'm about to reinstall. And this pretty much comes up after letting me know it's now safe to turn off the computer. So I'm going to go ahead and see you guys later.